Cancers, welcome to my channel. Let's see what December 2023 has in store. I will have this forecast on my website as well. So if you want to know how December is going to play out for you, check out the description. And I also have the year ahead forecast for 2024 that's up. So if you want to know how that year is going to play out, uh, check out my website as well. But let's jump in. We're going to start with the Oracle cards. So first card we have here, Cancers, we have the crease. So I think, I forgot which zodiac sign I got this card for, but this card talks about clinging on to things and how it takes away from us in the process of us trying to cling. Literally like this card depicts, you can't hold on to water or emotions. Let's just use that as an example here. Um, you can't hold on to pent up emotions, situations involving other people whatever this may be you can't hold on to things for dear life because if anything it still will slip through your fingers if it's not meant to be and if you know this space is supposed to be occupied by other things so it's important to know when to let go and this doesn't even have to mean, like I said, in terms of you holding on to things physically. This could mean you needing to let go of certain emotions and feelings and allow yourself to have a good old cry. Okay, but anything that you have to hold on to for dear life, it will still slip through your hands because it's not stable in the first place. It's not having a stable place in your life like how it should. We also have optimism. So although there is certain things that you have had to let go of, or you even realized in you giving emotional power to certain people or certain situations that it decreases your energy or decreases your ability to stay even optimistic because it just keeps taking, taking, taking away from you. With optimism here, th this month is about you being open to receiving. And the more open you are to receiving what the universe has for you, what the universe has for you, not what you want things to look like, two different things, this is going to help you receive blessings and receive exactly what you're, you're needing versus what you're wanting. Because a lot of times we could want things for ourselves that are actually pretty bad. You know, there's a lot of things that we want that could be bad for us. But the universe is always going to give us what we need. And that's the message here for this month. We also have fragmented energy. So, yes, this goes right back into what I was saying. There's something here that's decreasing your value. Whether this is you giving time and day to the wrong people or staying at a job where your worth is not being valued and you truly want to be like an artist or somebody who showcases their creative talent. Um, it's important that you're taking your energy back from these outside sources. And also with fragmented energy, if you've been just feeling energetically all over the place or losing pieces of yourself, it's important that you're taking the month of December to get grounded in your physical reality because both of these cards have so much water in them. And of course, Cancers, you guys are a water sign, but even water signs can be grounded. And I think that's what this month is needing from you. Now, we also have true love. So with true love, a lot of you could be attracting true love just by you merely falling in love with yourself and finding the beauty, finding all the different things that you love about yourself and honing in on those things could help you manifest your true, true love. But it really does start with you building a stronger relationship with self. And I think that's what the month of December or pretty much this whole entire year has been trying to show you that you can't truly love somebody way more than you love yourself because that's when you lose yourself. All right, Cancers, let's pull some cards from here. So first card we have is Joy, which represents Smiley Face. And we have Fence, which represents Boundaries. So yeah, so 
this kind of goes into what I was saying. It's important that you're putting energetic boundaries up. You could have certain people or certain situations that take away from you energy wise because you're an empath. You're somebody who's very energy sensitive and you have to protect yourself from getting entwined with the wrong people energy wise okay when you're an empath when you're energy sensitive you can't just get entangled with any old body okay because then at that point you're being sloppy with your energy and you're not being mindful and i think this month is about being mindful and just setting clear boundaries around situations that mean no good for you or that decrease your value and that's where the true happiness will come in. I think you being just in the space of open to receiving what's meant for you and not questioning how it's going to come in and how God is going to look out for you. That's what's going to help you be truly happy. Instead of in the state of constantly waiting for something else to come in to tell you that you're on the right path. All right, let's keep going. The overall energy for you this month, Cancers, we have the full card. The hidden influence is the hangman. The advice for you is the tower. Love specifically, we have the seven of pentacles. Career, we have the ten of pentacles. What you're manifesting, we have the eight of swords. And the possible challenge is the king of wands. Bottom of the deck, Cancers, we have the Eight of Cups. So in the month of November, you are in a space to where you recognize what spaces you've outgrown and what has no what has no opportunity left for you or where you just don't feel fulfilled anymore. The Eight of Cups talks about emotionally transcending certain spaces. So you already knew that you weren't going to get what you wanted out of maybe a job situation. So that may have been why you left because you wanted a promotion, you wanted a raise, and maybe they weren't willing to give it. Or in you dating somebody, you knew that they had some ways about themselves that they still needed to work on. And you may have walked away because you knew that that situation didn't have anything left for you. Now, in the month of December, the overall energy with the full card, you could be trying a whole new approach to how you're handling things, Cancers. You could be putting yourself out there or more willing to put yourself out there and take risks, especially in your career and in your love life. You could be wanting to experience new love. So maybe you're trying new dating apps or going out and being more sociable, for instance. Okay, you're in a whole new energy and you could be willing to just take risks that you weren't really that willing to take before. Okay, you could even be trying to start fresh with somebody who you have some sort of history with. And although you could be venturing into an unknown space of, you know, this thing potentially going good or potentially going bad, you could be still willing to take that risk. Now, what I see for the hidden influence with the hangman, um, this could be your perception of things. Whenever the hangman comes into play, this does talk about having like the wrong perception or having a limited perception and needing to kind of change that and then things will start to flow. So a hidden influence as to why things may feel stagnant in your love life or may feel stagnant in your career could be because you're looking at things from one point of view and not really seeing the bigger picture. OK, make sure you're not so caught up in your perspective that you're not willing to step outside of the perspective that you have and see what's really going on. OK, also another hidden influence is just certain delays. There could be certain delays or a moment that spirit's trying to get you to pause. And like I said, just look at things from a different angle. Now, the advice with the tower this is breaking away from concepts, beliefs, uh, a way of doing things that's just unstable, okay? The tower comes into play where maybe like certain conditionings that we've had don't work anymore and they may not be supporting us anymore. 
So the advice is to let go of these outdated belief systems or this outdated way of doing things. If you've been like running into the same problem over and over and over again because you've been handling things one way, maybe a new approach is needed. So in your love life, if you keep running into the same type of partners and it's the same situation over and over and over again, what is not working? Is it your belief system around love? Is it the type of people you're attracted to? It's really taking a moment to see where things went wrong so that you can make things go right. Okay? And just knowing that you're outgrowing certain spaces, okay? Now, let's talk about love specifically. I do have the seven of pentacles. So it's a lot of evaluating your love life, especially when it comes to what's been going on over the last seven, eight months. You could be more of an evaluating state and asking yourself some valuable questions. Should I still remain patient for this person to come around, to change their act, for them to take initiative? Okay, there, there's going to be questions around what you have going on now and where things are headed in terms of your love life. You still could even be waiting for somebody to reach out to you or take initiative with this connection. And it still could be a waiting process. Career-wise, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you could either be at a job that you feel like is very stable and secure, or you're trying to secure a more stable job where you're able to like get a home or get your own place or be able to support yourself to where you don't really need family support. Some of you may have been working at a job for so long or working in an industry for so long that maybe you're considering other ways of making money so that you can feel more secure. Okay, some of you guys could even be looking at like a home-based business or working from home. That may be something that you're really interested in. Now, what you're manifesting this month, going into that, we have the Eight of Swords. So you're manifesting a chance to break free from like a mental prison or being mentally frustrated. If you've been going through like this sense of feeling like stuck and hindered to a certain outcome or just frustrated, I think that this month is going to offer you a chance to see that you're not stuck. To any circumstance, you could just be stuck in your own mental conditioning. Now, last card is going to represent the possible challenge you may run into. With the King of Wands, this could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual. Or this is you stepping into this King of Wands energy that could be difficult in terms of you taking charge. And you, you know... Not taking no for an answer. The King of Wands talks about being bold in your action, being courageous, being confident, and handling things on your own terms. So the challenge may be stepping into the King of Wands energy, even though this is what's needed. Maybe you need to be the King of Wands to get your creative endeavors off the ground, or if you're an entrepreneur, for you to succeed in sales. Okay, but this is just... An overview, I'm going to do, of course, more detailed readings as we go along this month. So definitely make sure that you subscribe and never miss a beat. But I will see you later. Bye, Cancers.